Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Tonight I have a fabulous recipe for you guys. Quiche. Now don't be intimidated. Those that know me know I'm only known for quick, fast, easy recipes. For those of you who don't know me, I do not like to cook, but I love fabulous food. This is a quiche, a quiche recipe that you can use a frozen crust. Now it's been defrosted in the refrigerator overnight. The trick is it has to be cold. So I'm gonna hold, go ahead and hurry up and get started because I don't want that to warm. I got some fresh parsley just for some herbs. You don't need that. I'm gonna add some real bacon bits. That's not bacon bits out of a jar. Those are real bacon. Because I have them and I don't wanna waste them. You need some fresh cracked brown, brown black pepper. You need four large eggs. I have some, have some dry mustard. I have sea salt, so the kosher salt, I apologize. I'm using whole milk. You can use heavy cream, but please do not substitute 1%, 2% or anything like that. You need the full flat fat to make this custard come together. I have an onion there that I've already sauteed, three tablespoons. You need diced ham. If you have leftover ham for the holidays, it's a perfect recipe. You can serve this for brunch or for breakfast. You need a cup and a half. You need a cup and a half of sharp cheddar cheese, and you need broccoli, because this is broccoli and cheese quiche casserole. Welcome to my channel, I'm Jennifer. Now you can use any vegetable you like, asparagus or anything, but you need to cook them ahead of time. I have the broccoli that you cook in the microwave, so I'm gonna go ahead and steam it and I've already cooked my onions. You do not want to put raw vegetables in this. This cooks for 55, 50 to 55 minutes at 375 degrees. I already have my oven preheated. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up so I can get this quiche cooking. Let's get cooking. Okay, everyone, I have my pie crust here. And one of the struggles with quiche is always the crust or the bechamel sauce, the, um, the custard that goes with it. So this recipe calls for a cup and a half of diced ham. And like I said, if you have leftover ham from the holiday, that's perfect. If you don't, um, you can go ahead and buy it like I just did. And that's eight ounces in a bag. And so now I'm gonna add a half a cup of the second bag of diced ham. And you'll see how easy this is. Like I said, this takes the, tough, this, you know, like I said, quiche is really difficult. It's a French recipe. And the reason I haven't had it in 15 years is because most recipes call for traditional nutmeg, which I do not like at all. So then to this, I'm gonna add, since I have the real bacon left over, I'm just gonna go ahead and add this. because I didn't wanna waste it and I have it. And then I sauteed three tablespoons of onions, which is not necessary, but if you use any vegetables, asparagus, broccoli, anything, it has to be cooked. Cr cr um, quiche is supposed to be creamy, not, um, not at all um, crunchy vegetables. And then you need a cup and a half of cheddar cheese. And this is a two bag cup, so that's why I'm measuring this. So I'm gonna add one cup, and then I'm gonna add half a cup roughly of the cheddar cheese. See how easy this comes together. That's why this is pretty much foolproof for somebody like me or yourself who loves delicious food and don't really like to cook. And then you just spread that out. And then my broccoli, you know, I've, mi I've microwaved it and you only want the florets. If you're one of those people that insist on using fresh broccoli, you will have to cook it or steam it. It needs to be soft. Key should not have hard, crunchy bites in it. You want to go ahead and press that down in there like that. And this, like I said, this keeps in the refrigerator for three days. You can freeze it, but you want to wrap it in foil. And you want to just take it out and cook it in the foil and warm it up. Now you need four eggs. So I'm going to crack my four eggs, large eggs. And this is really dangerous. You know, you guys, I'll just give you a hint. You shouldn't do this because if you get a shell in here, sometimes you'll catch heck trying to get it out. And see, the custard part is another difficult part that people find with quiche, but when I found this recipe, I fell in love. So that's a half a teaspoon of dried mustard, half a teaspoon of sea salt, even though the recipe that I had called for kosher salt, I was out. And I'm gonna use fresh cracked black pepper to this. That's about a half a teaspoon. And then you need one cup of milk. And please do not substitute this for 1%, 2%. You can also use heavy cream, but you need the full flat fat for the custard. 
And then you mix that together. See how simple this is coming together? And then you just mix this all together. Your basically your custard mixture. And if you do like nutmeg, go ahead and add, add it. About a pinch or a quarter of a teaspoon that makes it a traditional quiche. I haven't had it in, like I said, 15 years because I never buy it. Whenever I do, if I do, I see it, I get it by the slice and try it. And like I said, it's traditional for French um, bechamel or custards. That's a white sauce to go ahead and put some nutmeg in there, but I absolutely despise it. So see, that's ready. Then you want to take your pie shell and you just want to pour this over. And slowly let this soak in. And like I said, I added the bacon because I had it, but traditional quiche, a lot of times it's just broccoli and cheese quiche. And this is a nine inch baking dish. So I fell in love with this when I found someone like myself to go ahead and make this, and it's not hard at all. And like I said, I haven't had it in 15 years. So I absolutely was dying to have some quiche. So now I can have it all the time. You can serve this for breakfast, for brunch, if you have guests over and you want to have breakfast the next day, this is perfect. Now you get that all in there. Now you want to press this down. And the secret to this, like I said, the pie crust has to be cold, not frozen, but cold. Do not let it sit out on the counter for 30 minutes or so, because that way it won't be flaky. And you just press this, press this down nice and firm in there, get your broccoli submerged. I'm going to go ahead, turn the camera around. I'm going to put this in the oven, come back and talk to you guys in about 50, 55 minutes and show you how easy this is to make quiche. Okay, guys, there you have it. It cooked for exactly one hour in my oven. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And please, if you make it, please let me know how you change it up. Like I said, you can add onion powder, garlic powder, um, asparagus, any kind of vegetables you like. You can even do mushrooms with uh, cheddar cheese, jet pepper jack cheese. A lot of ways to change this. My house smells, smells absolutely fabulous. And like I said, I haven't had quiche in 15 years, mainly because of the nutmeg. But if you like nutmeg, go ahead and add it in there and make a traditional French quiche. So let me tell you my joke. A woman goes into the pharmacy and says, hi, pharmacist, can I have some arsenic, please? He says, lady, what are you going to do with that arsenic? She said, I just want to poison my husband. He said, lady, I can't give you no arsenic to poison your husband. She reaches into her pocket and pulls out a pitcher and sits it on the counter. He picks it up and looks at it, and it's a picture of his wife making love to her husband. He said, lady, oh damn, you didn't say you had a prescription. I thought that was pretty funny. So anyway, please come back for the next one. Have a good evening. And like I said, I upload two videos a week, always include an inspirational quote, and always include a controversial joke at the end. So you guys have a good evening, and God bless.